channel on today's video I'm going to be doing a full face using only ColourPop products if you all don't know of the brand ColourPop which who wouldn't know of this brand because this brand is so good and it's so affordable and by right now everybody should know about it because it's just so good so if you haven't tried this brand just give it a try because a lot of their products are good so so if you want to buy anything that I use in this video you can purchase these items through um, their website which is cutterpop.com or Ulta sells they don't sell a lot of their products but they do sell like eyeshadows and stuff so I know pretty soon they're gonna be bringing more stuff into the Ulta so if you guys want to purchase something I do have their website on the description box and if you want to get five dollars off your order there's a link there that you can just click it and They'll take off the five dollars so i am going to be using everything from ColourPop. but before we get started please make sure you subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell to get notified when i upload videos and please give it a thumbs up at the end if you liked it and please make sure you follow me on my social media so let's go ahead and get started so some of these stuff are new because i didn't have a lot of like stuff to do my whole face so i did have to purchase um a few stuff just because <clears throat> like I said, I, I didn't have um, everything that I use for my face from ColourPop, but most of the parts, um, I do have stuff. So for the primer, I've used this one before, and this is the ColourPop All-Star Primer. This is a matte blur primer. I did mention that this one, um, that this one feels kind of like the um, Maybelline. The Maybelline primer a smooth and blur I believe it's called it's like in a black tube so it's just the same like it's like in a this one feels a little bit more matte on the matte side so if you do not like uh, matte primers you definitely are not going to be liking this one it is not completely matte, but it does feel a little bit um, thick. So if you don't like it, I believe they do have another one, which is for um, dewy skin, if I'm not mistaken. So I already applied my primer. So I'm going to be moving on with my foundation. And for foundation, um, you all know that I have the ColourPop No Filter Foundation, which I love, and this is in the shade Light 70, but recently they also came out with the No Filter Foundation Stick, so I haven't tried this. I got it in the same shade as this one, which is Light 70. I hope it's the same color. I have not tried it. I was waiting for this video to try it. So this is what it looks like. It's just a stick, and... It's just like this, like a stick. So I am going to be applying this. Let's hope it matches me. If not, we're just going to have to work with it. Uh, it looks a little... Maybe once I blend it to my neck, it'll be okay. So I'm going to start with this part right here first. And I am going to be using my um, Beauty Blender, which is dirty because I used on the previous video. So I am going to be using this one. Maybe it's better if I use a brush. I think I'm going to try a brush just because I feel like with stick foundations, it's better if you use a brush. So for the brush, I'm using the Morphe. This is the G6 brush. It just looks like this. It's like a flat um, kabuki brush, kind of. So it just... And I like to go in parts when I do it with the stick foundation because I feel like it dries quicker than the regular foundation. So that's why I like to go in sections. So far, I feel like I need to go in 
um, more with this one just because I don't know like once I buff it in it kind of like just sticks to the brush like it doesn't really like stick to my skin but so far the finish of it looks very similar to the actual foundation like the liquid foundation it's just that you need to um, be adding a little bit of more of product that's the only thing that I'm noticing with this and it is a little bit thicker I have I am noticing that it is kind of thick I'm gonna go in with the beauty blender just because I feel like it's easier to blend maybe with this okay so now that I blended the foundation and everything it does match um, to my neck so moving on I'm gonna be moving on to my concealer and this is the ColourPop no filter concealer and this is in the shade light 18 I like to um, kind of like go like this to my concealers because I feel like they kind of set where they're just like laying like this or we have them like this so I just like to do that to my concealers so I'm gonna apply this under my eyes I have used this concealer before and I really do like it it's very creamy and it blends so good so I have tried this one and I really do like this concealer so I'm gonna move on to my actual powder to bake under the skin so I have two powders but I'm gonna be using the ColourPop no filter setting powder and this is just in the shade translucent and it looks like this I've used this one before so I know you guys seen this one in my videos before so I'm just going to be um, setting my under eye right here And then for the rest of my face, I do have the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Press Powder, which looks like this right here. This powder is so fine, and I'm in the shade Medium. I got the shade Medium, but you can't really see that it's Medium. It kind of looks um, a little bit light, so it works just fine for me. So I'm just going to be setting my entire face with this. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to be dusting away this baking because I really don't want to bake a lot right now. So with that same brush, I'm just going to be dusting away this and then just blending it towards my cheeks over here. So moving on, I think I'm going to move on to my eyebrows and then do my eyes. So for the eyebrows, I did purchase this... Um, Precision Brow Pencil, which looks like this, and I got it in the shade Banging Brunette. So this is what it looks like. It's just a thin pencil, and it does have a spoolie, so you can brush your eyebrows. So, let me see what the actual... The actual pencil is kind of small. Like, it is so tiny, so it's going to take me a while to do my eyebrows, so... I am going to start, let me see, um, I think the shade is too dark, but we're just going to have to work with it. This pencil is so creamy and it is so pigmented. Like I'm barely touching my eyebrow and it is super extremely pigmented, so just be careful when you're doing your eyebrows I do think it's a little bit too dark for me but like I said I'm gonna have to work with it ok 
Okay, so my eyebrows look a little bit weird right now. Not weird, but I'm not used to them being this dark. And the only thing I don't like about this pencil is that once you bring up the product, you can't bring it down like the other normal um, pencils. Once you bring it up, that's how it's going to stay. You can't bring it down. That's the only thing I don't like about this pencil. And also, it is so creamy that it is so pigmented that if you like mess up, um, it'll just like like slide so I mean I don't know how I feel about this pencil yet I'm gonna have to be trying it more because so far um I'm kind of not liking it so next I I'm going to be using my brow my setting brow gel I have used this one before and it's my favorite brow gel that I ever used and this is called the Brow Boss Gel. I did purchase a new one just because the other one was running low. And this is what it looks like. I have mentioned that I think the tube is kind of small. And they do have shades, but I get the translucent one, like just a clear one. Just because I don't want any more pigment on my eyebrows. So I'm just going to be setting my eyebrows. And I love this setting gel, like brow gel, because it's like hairspray. Like your brows won't move and they'll stay in place. Like they won't move. So I really like this brow gel. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to move on to my eyes. So I did purchase this palette and this is the Yes Please palette. It looks like this. I like it because it's small and it doesn't take a lot of space. So this is what it looks like right here. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that with the lights, but... It has the names in the back and this is what the actual palette looks like right here <clears throat> it does look like mine um, was damaged during the delivery but I'm okay with it I mean it might have been me when I opened it I'm not sure but once again this is what it looks like right here so I like these shades cuz they're like my kind of shades they are like warm shades so I am going to be using this shade right here which is called Note to Sell. It's this brownish shade right here and I'm going to be applying that on my crease. Ooh, these are pigmented so... These shades are so pigmented. Like, I only went once in there and I basically did my whole crease. I didn't have to go back on there. And they are so blendable. Um, they blend pretty good. So, next, I think I want to add this shade right here, which is called GNO. I think that's how you say it. And I'm going to be applying this below that crease. Wow, this shade is so pretty. Also, I'm going to be putting this on the outer V of my eye. Wow, this shade is so pretty. I just want to keep on adding it. Okay, so now I am going to... Um, What should I do? I think I'm going to be cutting my crease, like doing kind of like a halo eye. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of that same concealer um, on the back of my hand. And I am going to be grabbing a small brush. This is a new brush that I'm going to be using. And this is the Morphe E35 brush. It's super tiny, like super small. And I'm going to be cutting my crease. So something like this. I know it looks weird right now, but after we're done with it, it'll look pretty good. So for that 
next phase that I did right there, I'm going to be using this shade right here, which is called Butter Cake. And it's this gold shade right here. So pretty. So I'm going to be grabbing another brush that I bought, which I like because for these things right here, I like a smaller brush because it can be like super precise. This is a Morphe M421. So I'm going to be grabbing that gold shade. Let's see just how it looks. And then just... Ooh, this is so pretty I'm gonna be applying this all over on top of that concealer And then I'm just going to be going back with that shade GNO and then just blending all this right here. You don't want any harsh lines. So now I'm going to be moving on to my under eyes and I'm going to be basically using just two colors. And I'm going to be using um, that same shade, GNO. Actually, I'm going to be using this shade right here, which is called French Kiss. It's just like a dark brown. And I'm going to be putting it under my eye. And then with a pencil brush, I'm going to be using the shade GNO. And then I'm just going to be buffing this. Okay, so for now, I'm done with the palette. I really like the palette. The shades are so blendable and they are so pigmented. So I really do like it. So I think I'm going to be moving on to my eyeliner and I got two liners here I'm not sure which ones they are I did use a yellow one on my morphe when I did the morphe um, palette look I did use a yellow one and it is so good it is so pigmented so I have these two shades right here one of it is called no shame and the other one is called Kami. So I think I'm going to be using Kami because it's more of a brown. And the other one is more of a purple tone. So I am going to be using the brown one right here. So there it is. I really like them because they are so smooth and they're so like creamy that they just glide on your eyes. So I really like these eyeliners. So moving on, I think I'm going to move on to my bronzer. So when I purchased this, I thought it was going to come kind of like in this packaging right here, like the actual press powder, but it came like this. I think it's just like a loose pan. Yes, it is. It's just a loose pan that I was not that happy about because I like a compact that I can just place here and I can just open and close it. This I have to put in an actual palette and I have to be taking out the palette in and out so I was kind of bummed about that but we're just going to have to use it. I got it in the shade opening act and this looks more like a contour shade so let me see if it's Oh, it's actually a nice shade. So I really like it. It blends good so far. I'm liking it. I like the shade of it. It's super warm. But it has a little bit of a cool tone. So I really do like this powder. I really do like this bronzer contour shade the only thing that I said I did not like is that it comes in an actual just like little pan so I wish they did them like in an actual compact 
so next I'm gonna be moving on to my blush and when you get stuff online the shades online look so different than the actual product so I did get this blush which is called between the sheets and it's a super shock um, blush and it looks like this it's a little bit warm for me but I think if I just grab a little bit it'll be fine it looked more pink on the website so let me just grab a little bit okay yeah it's fine just um I just had to get a little bit because if I put on too much it's gonna be too dark but it is a nice shade so I really do like this and then for highlighter I also bought this super shock cheek highlighter in the shade it's gonna be hard for me to say this to say this flexitarian I think that's how you say it flexitarian I don't know if you guys can see that and this is what it looks like right here it is so shiny so I am going to be using my highlighting brush which I always use ooh they feel like buttery, like creamy, super creamy. So, oh my god. I was not expecting this. These are so, like, creamy, buttery. They almost feel, like, kind of wet. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is blinding highlight I'm gonna grab a little bit they feel kind of they feel wet I'm gonna grab a little bit and put it right here on the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow and I'm even going to be putting a little bit of that in here wow these are so pigmented I really like this highlighter I think with this blush it makes it look a little bit purpley but I'm not mad at it it looks pretty so moving on we're almost done I'm going to so I'm gonna be doing my eyelashes and I'll be right back because because I mean eyelashes I don't think Colourpop has eyelashes so I'm gonna be doing my eyelashes and I'll be right back okay so I already applied my eyelashes and I was noticing that Colourpop does not have mascara I mean I searched through it and I did not see any mascaras I don't know um Colourpop you're sleeping on mascaras you need to create mascaras because they basically have everything except mascaras unless I missed it but I double checked and they don't have any mascaras so I am going to be using the roller lash um, mascara from Benefit which is my favorite mascara of all time and I am going to be just coating my bottom lashes And then last but not least, I'm moving on to my lipstick and then my setting spray. Well, actually, I'm going to do my setting spray first because I have been um, setting my face first and then putting on the lipstick. So I am going to be using the ColourPop All-Star Setting Spray and this is... Um, just a setting spray it does have a scent to it it kind of I mentioned it before that it kind of reminds me of Michaels or Hobby Lobby during like the fall time you know how it smells kind of like autumn like leaves and stuff that's how this smells if you are kind of sensitive to smells you're not gonna like this and I do feel like this kind of feels tingling on my skin that's the only thing I kind of don't like about it but other than that it's great I like how my skin looks afterwards I just wish that they did not put a strong scent on it. So I am going to be setting my face with this. And I can and I can taste it like it's super like perfumey-ish. I really like these shadows. They are so pretty. Okay, and then for my lip liner, I'm going to be using the ColourPop and I Love Sarai collection. And this is in the shade, is it 951? Yes, it's in the shade 951, which I'm guessing it's um, an area code. 
So I'm going to be lining my lips with this. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick and this is in the shade Uno Mas. So this is the lipstick. I really do like their Luxe lipsticks because they are so creamy and they're not matte. But if you want to make them matte, you can just grab a little bit of powder and pat them on top of them. And they'll turn matte. And I really like that because sometimes with regular lipsticks, if your hair gets on it or something, it'll just like smear it. But if you add a little bit of translucent powder on top of it, you'll be fine. So I really like how this look came out. I really love the eyeshadows and the highlighter. It's so blinding. I really like it. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But, and like I said, if you guys want to try out anything that I used, I do have that link on the bottom description bar. If you guys want to go check it out, you don't have to use my link if you don't want to. I mean, I'm just giving you $5 off. But if you do want to save $5, you can just click on that link and it'll give you $5 off your purchase. So also, the lashes that I'm wearing, they are the Lisa lashes, which are like this. They changed their packaging so they don't come in a box anymore. But I have a couple of these and mine, mine came in a box because it was before they changed their packaging. But these are in style Liz and I also have... A coupon code for that which is 15% off your order and I believe all this month of January they're having their lashes for $12 plus you get 15% off with my code so if you want to check that out I do have that link on the bottom description um, if you guys want to use it if you don't want to use it it's okay like I don't mind so yes this is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching and until next time I'll see you guys soon bye Oh, <laughs> oh,